Hello stars, welcome to the new video. One of the projects that was very challenging for me was the restaurant pager project I designed last year. As you can see, this project is made of three seven segment displays and I had to buy them a little more expensive. But can we make these seven segment displays with a more attractive design? Stay with me to find out. A while ago, I needed a panel to hold a seven segment display steady for building a digital transmitter. Using laser cutting technology, I made the panel I wanted. But the extra parts were completely clean and I didn't want to throw them away. I thought that if I arranged them properly together, maybe I could build a custom seven segment display. In the end, I came up with this design. I should say, I'm not planning to make a mechanical 7 segment display. So I need to stick LEDs on these panels. At this stage, I need to fix these parts in place using glue. To make the screen more solid, I'm also using wood glue for extra strength. Now, using a size 1 drill bit, we need to carefully drill holes in the panels, just enough so that the LED pins fit through and we can secure them from the back. like this. To save on electricity, I'm using a total of 12 LEDs. Arranged in two rows, now it's time to fill all the panels with LEDs. This is the back of the display, where all the LEDs are connected in parallel. Now, what I need to do is connect a wire to each segment, plus one wire for the negative terminal. That way, our 7 segment display will have a common cathode configuration. The display is almost ready, but before we move on, let me introduce the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, a leading company in high-quality PCB manufacturing, but they don't stop there. PCBWay also offers CNC machining, 3D printing, injection molding, and sheet metal fabrication services. You can get an instant quote and start working with their team right away. For more info, check out their website, the link is right below this video. Alright, let's get back to the project. Here's the circuit diagram you'll need to use. After connecting the LEDs in parallel, you should attach them to the Arduino output pins through 330 ohm resistors. Also, connect the common pin to the Arduino's GND. Now, let's move on to writing the code. To start, I'll use a loop to set pins 2 through 8 as outputs. Then, I'll define a function that turns off all the outputs. In the main loop, I'll configure the outputs to display the number 0. After 1 second, all outputs will turn off. Then, the numbers from 1 to 9 will be displayed in the same way, one by one. Let's go test it. 
As you can see, our project is working perfectly. It's even clearly visible from a distance. I'm planning to build a digital clock using four seven segment displays based on this design. So if you'd like to see that project soon, make sure to give this video a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.